Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to do a version of uh, peanut butter and jelly. I call it peanut butter and jelly flash, PB&J flash. And it's just a standard peanut butter and jelly pattern um, with some flashable in it. Uh, but the reason... I wanted to do this for you today is I got a, a really good question. Um, somebody emailed me uh, and they asked me why I do uh, so many different versions of the same pattern like black and blue. And uh, the easiest answer I could give is is contrast um dirty water i want the darker colors i i want more contrast with the darker colors and um lighter water you know clearer conditions um i'll highlight the um how how can i say it the not so dark colors the brighter colors um, and that's basically what it is. And uh, it's the way I fish, too. Um, I have a tendency to tinker when I'm out in the water, which is why I, I <laughs> make so many different colors and patterns and why I'm always trying to develop more. And that's um, one is I don't want the fish to get conditioned to a certain color uh, or pattern, and two, I just, I, I like to see um, what works, what doesn't, especially with new material, um, like this here, peanut butter and jelly flash, if you could do something when you're fishing, take the same pattern, tied the same way, like um, just plain green pumpkin, and then do one green pumpkin with some flash material in it and try it out and, you know, fish them side by side, same setups. That way you can kind of um, get an idea of uh, if one works better than the other, if neither of them work or if both of them work. Um, you'll, you'll tell a difference though. Uh, that's what got me into believing in flash material. It started with the hair jigs throwing, um, you know, crystal flash in hair jigs and seeing it, you know, um, just a, a couple strands of flash, uh, go from not catching anything to, all of a sudden I'm getting bit and that's literally the only change that I made. And I started learning, you know, that can draw the fish in the flash. And I, I think they're attracted to that. You know, uh, you're out in the water and you, you know, minnows are in the water and you're, you're seeing little flashes, you know, looking down into the water. That's kind of what I, I guess you're seeing with, um, using the flash, I, I'm thinking that uh, they see that from a distance and it, it brings them in. I really don't know, but I do know uh, there's days where no flash works better and there's days where having flash in, in your jig uh, can make a difference. So enough of me blabbing. Let's get started. In the vise, we have a 3 8 ounce sparky head. The color is PB and J. I know it's hard to see, but um, you got black and purple flake all through here. This is a really killer peanut butter and jelly color. I really like what they did with this. Um, so, three eight ounce Sparky PB and J, and we have a three aught owner fifty three oh four deep throat hook in there. And we're going to start with some 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. 
Yeah, that this I get a lot of that, you know, asking the, what difference does this stuff make? Uh, does it really help? Um, all kinds of questions. But that uh, when I read that, I just I thought, you know, I should explain myself a little better if I I hadn't done it earlier. And that's, you know, why I put Flash in Bass Jigs. I don't do it to all of them, and I don't do it, um, probably the majority I don't. But every now and then I have a pattern like this, uh, like peanut butter and jelly, where uh, sometimes the Flash... Uh, really works and this is one of those patterns where you're not in really dark water but uh it's got some stain to it especially in sunny conditions that's when i really see the flash working what i'm putting in here now is a half tab which i cut in half to tie in um this is nature's edge pumpkin And for anybody that's watched me for any period of time, you know that the Nature's Edge print is one of my favorite. If you go to Fishing Skirts, they have the Dalmatian series, which for it, it's if you've seen them side by side, they're almost identical. Had to move some of them up there. Okay, so we got our Nature's Edge pumpkin in. I need to get my other material out. And now we're going to put in Nature's Edge purple. This is a really good shade of purple. And it's not like uh, the purple crystal that shiny which is another reason i like um with this particular peanut butter and jelly pattern um this purple is great because it doesn't have that um intense color to it it's uh almost like a satin finish color if you will you know uh a little bit duller, but it a really, again, it's a nice deep purple. Deep purple, yep. Yeah. Always like them, too. I should have tightened my vice up a little bit. There we go. It slipped a little on me there. The other half, and this is a full tab cut in half. The Nature's Edge pumpkin was a half tab, and the Nature's Edge purple is a full tab. Because we're going to have two and a half tabs total. I got to take that out because what happened was it fell to the side, the material. And so it didn't go on top anymore. As stupid as that sounds... When I put it on here, it just all, when I went to spread it out, I didn't have the thread tight enough.
There we go. That's that's a little better. I like to stay towards the ball on this particular one with the caller, the ball caller. That's what I'm referring to. Um, I like staying close to there to get a little bit of extra flair. It's the summertime now, and um, this is one. There's a particular lake that I fish, and peanut butter and jelly works really well. And what I do with this is I uh, just pitch to little holes in lily pads or right on the, the pad edge. And it's really effective like that. All right. So now our purple's tied in. Now we're going to add our flash. And what I did was I took four strands of purple flashaboo, not holographic, just plain flashaboo. To make sure I get it that I don't drop it. I think I explained that before. That uh, somebody said, "Why don't I use uh, like a chrome-colored silicone?" And I guess you could do that. Um, but the flash has a little bit different look in the water. So what I did, like I said, four strands of flash that I cut in half. So we're going to have eight in here. Four on the top, four on the bottom. Flip it over. Put the other four in here. And just, just get a little separation on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you ever saw this in the water, um, when you see the flash material work, it really... Uh, it's it's um, one of those things where you, you really see why uh, it attracts the bass. It's just like, like I said, you're, you're, you're fishing and we've all seen it, you know, where a minnow flashes or uh, just before a bass is going to hit your bait, you know, it's getting close and you see that quick flash. It's the same thing with the, with the jig. It does that. And, uh, again, I, I've had it where I've had really good results with it. So it's all, always keep it. Now we're going to take, this is half wire butterscotch, a full tab. That we're doing half and half. Yeah, I put all these in my, uh, My material fell off to the side again. I put all these in my little recipe book. So that way when I start losing my mind, <laughs> some people would say that already happened, but um, I shouldn't say losing my mind when my memory is shot. At least I can always go back and refer to my book. You know, if I want to use a certain pattern and I forgot how to do it, I have it. It's like keeping a log. And now 
we're just going to crank our collar here. And I don't want to trap any of that flash. Now we're going to take a little clip here. And whip finish it. Come on. Four, five. Oh. See, I had that piece of flash got trapped. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's good. Now, some Sally Hansen's, and I did get a question I seen in the comments section. Um, somebody asked me why I don't use Sally Hansen's, any, or uh, why I don't use the uh, water-based head cement anymore. And uh, when I had my little accident, I dumped it, so I got to get some more. I know Cabela's has it, so... I got to get down there. I'm going there on um, July 7th, around 9.30 in the morning. Barring any unforeseen incidents. That's the way I should phrase it. Now, get rid of our clamp. We got to get the big scissors. And the bottom. Boy, I'm losing everything today. One day it's one thing, the next day it's something else. When things go perfect that I don't have to do anything or any adjustments, that's the day I play the lottery. Now let me get it situated and I'll show you what we have. Just going to trim this up to get our finished length. And the reason I do the finished length after I cut the legs free is because they tend to lay better. So I get a, a better sense of the length. Okay, now our weed guard, a little bit of Loctite super glue brush on, I apologize for taking longer today, it's, I guess that's Sunday morning blues, I'm going a little slow. Okay, but we're not done. We're going to put our trailer on here. 
but so far this is this is what it looks like and then this is my buddy art at three hands custom tackle this is um, a brown with a little bit of purple flake in it uh, it's a ditch craw chunk is I be what I believe he calls this where do you see this Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be for this particular jig, but that shade of brown. Again, we're playing. This is all contrast, but it still looks fairly natural. Yeah, profile. Yeah, it's hard for you get a good idea I should have a profile plate ain't and I uh, had a dark colored shirt on today which um, that was an accident but there you have it this is our PB and J flash Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.